Welcome to my SU News Channel. Bankrupt Katie Price cuts a glum figure while leaving her budget £60 a night hotel in Manchester after taking swipe at ex Peter Andre. Katie Price battled the rain as she left her £60 a night budget hotel in Manchester on Wednesday the morning after her live podcast show, during which she reportedly took a swipe at ex husband Peter Andre. The former glamour model, 46, wrapped up in a long black padded jacket as she made her way out of the premiere in alongside sister Sophie, 33. Katie layered the jacket over a casual black tracksuit and a slung Louis Vuitton bag over her shoulder while pushing her large suitcase along the pavement. The sisters, who host the podcast together, battled the torrential downpour with the I'm a Celeb star even resorting to shielding herself with a plastic bag. The sighting comes amid Katie's ongoing £3.2 million bankruptcy case, after reports investigators had been assigned to her case to see if she has any hidden income streams. A source told The Mirror in September. There is going to be no stone left unturned, as they try to ascertain what is going on with her finances. Mail Online contacted Katie's representatives for comment. The television personality, who has been on two holidays in the last few months, including a trip to Thailand in March, will be asked to lay bare just how much cash she makes when she finally faces the music in February 2024. Katie has avoided being grilled in person since November 2021. The bankruptcy hearing was postponed to next year due to members of public causing chaos in the online hearing last month. The television personality reportedly appeared in an online hearing in which she alleged she was scared and anxious as screenshots of the hearing had been posted on tattle sites seemingly a reference to gossip forums. Cameras are not permitted in court hearings in any form and screenshots of online hearings are banned and risk jail time if found to be doing so. His Honor Judge Paul Greenwood demanded everybody leave the call by ground of losing control of the hearing and postponed to next year. He said, I'm not entirely sure I can maintain control of the hearing or the dissemination of the hearing. I'm going to exclude everybody who is not party and hear this short directions hearing in private. I cannot be sure that the integrity of the hearing is not being affected by the broadcast. In order it should be capable of being conducted, I'm going to direct it is going to be in private. Everyone who is not party must leave the meeting. Amid her money battle, Katie is fighting to save her famed Mucky Mansion. It was reported the former glamour model, who has spent two years renovating her 19-room Mucky Mansion and even documented the process for a Channel 4 show, has moved out of the house. In July, Katie hit back at trolls who questioned her over her bankruptcy, saying she still owns her £2.5 million house and stated, never knock someone who was bankrupt, we all can go there, but it doesn't mean that it is all bad. In 2021, the star was once again hit with a repossession order on the Mucky Mansion after failing to pay a £500,000 debt. In April, Katie dodged a court hearing for a fifth time, in which she was set to answer questions over her most recent batch of debts, this time £3.2 million. During an appearance on Jeremy Vine's Channel 5 show in March this year, Katie discussed her bankruptcy and how she had been struggling with her mental health in recent years. You shouldn't be ashamed if you have a bankruptcy because for different reasons people go into bankruptcy, she said. I went through a really, really tough time the past three years, mental health and this and that. And when you go through that, you might get bills through and you put everything to the side because you can't cope with anything. During a previous court hearing in October 2020, Katie apologized to the court, adding, I just haven't been able to deal with these issues or in the right mental state to understand everything that has been going on. She also said creditors and officials may think her engagement with them is too little too late but the progress is real and she had provided financial information. In August, Katie said she was fed up of being threatened with legal action and would go to prison to be done with it all. Speaking to TV personality Michelle Visage on her Rule Breakers podcast, Katie discussed her bankruptcy and said she had recently been to court more times than I've had hot dinners and would genuinely not care if she was jailed. In March, Katie told Jeremy Vine's Channel 5 show that people should not be ashamed of being declared bankrupt and she had been struggling with her mental health in recent years. During a hearing in October 2020, Katie apologized to the court, saying, I just haven't been able to deal with these issues or in the right mental state to understand everything that has been going on. She said creditors and officials may think her engagement with them is too little, too late but the progress is real and she had provided financial information. During Katie's stage appearance for her podcast tour The Katie Price Show she reportedly took a swipe at her ex Peter Andre. With the crowd said to have booed her ex Peter as she discussed weddings and her former husbands. She was married to the singer and TV personality, 50, from 2005 to 2009 and they share children Princess, 16, and Junior, 18.
The son reports that those watching made jeering noises when she referred to the Aussie from Wembley instead of naming him. They claimed she was left smiling and tried to hide her face with her microphone as the boos were heard all around the theater. The star went on to list off the different ceremonies she had with each partner before labeling her third husband Karen Haler Karen the Cheater. She also spoke about her nuptials to Peter saying her £45,000 designer wedding dress had been left to rot after the divorce. Katie told the crowd, it's been half-eaten by rats. It was left in a bag in a container, but then went on to explain she had tried to revive and reuse it. She added, so I have got it out, the top bit has sort of lost its crystals. I tried to put it around me, but I've had a few boob jobs since then, but the skirt is still amazing. I did want to wear it out tonight, but I thought that would be a bit wrong. Elsewhere during the show, she said she was now wary of being a bridesmaid for her famous pals as they could just be using her for exposure. She said, I've been a bridesmaid so many times but it got to the point of let's rent Katie Price so we can get on the cover of a magazine, because if people had me as their bridesmaid, like some famous people, they'll end up on the cover and get more money, so I stopped doing it. Katie added of fake friends in general, I've been used so many times, I'm sick of it now. I've cut so many people out of my life, I just have the people around me where I can look at what does that person benefit of me and what do I benefit of them. Representatives for Katie were again contacted by Mail Online for comment. Source, page6.com. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.